Alright, today in this video, I'm gonna show how I like to, to do the transition to the other arm when my opponent uh, is defending. A lot of people ask me like, oh, but when I go to the arm bar, the opponent like defend really fast. How I like, to, uh, what do you do when you have this situation? I'm gonna show how I like to, to do the transition. Especially when I do the arm bars, like I say, if like a black belt ask me how I do the arm bar and a white belt ask me how I do arm bar, of course, always like I said before, I always look for double underhook, right? So you see how I have like uh, my opponent's arm like that. So that's what I look for, okay? Of course, that is way to to gain that position. But let's start from here. So I, when I go to the armbar, I don't like to make my opponent turn on his side, right? So let's say the guy tried to bump, and I get this situation here. It still works, but I rather always to keep my opponent flat on the mat. So let's say they're always. What I tell is what? Well, to keep the top arm, right? So when I get the top arm, when I go to the position, when I get the situation here, it's almost impossible for him to defend now. Because even if I, I didn't touch the arm there, I still want to get it, right? But here it's hard, even if he try to defend. You know what I mean? He has like no space. But a lot of times if you give him some space, like I'm gonna do the switch, right? So here, now he's defending, so the top arm, is blocking right so how it, of course it's still a better position for me but a lot of work for me to get this situation okay so what i'm gonna do now instead of keep fighting to get this arm i'm gonna release the hand and just focus on the top arm right i was holding both so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the top arm pay attention to my my heel and my knee i never pass the the line of his head, right? And my toes always alive. And make sure that the side of your foot on the bottom too, on the on the mat, right? So instead of keeping holding on the both hands, I'm gonna release and I'm gonna just choose the top hand, right? So you see how I grab his arm between his wrists, between his wrists, right? So now I have a good position. Even if he tries to switch now the arm position, Try to switch. So I block his arm. So now what I'm gonna do? So whenever you feel comfortable, what I like to do in that situation is what? Make sure that you don't keep like your base too wide. So you can post the hand on the mat or you can do without the hand. So that's gonna be up to you. But the key of this position is the feet work, right? So see how I put the weight on my knee and my feet. And now I rotate my head. Okay? Of course, you don't need to stop it here, but just so you see how you end up in the same position. Now, he doesn't have space. Even if he tries to switch, right? He's not gonna have space. Then I hug with the other hand, pass the leg over, and go straight to the arm bar, right? I'm gonna do one time faster, so you can see how it's kind of like the real situation, okay? So I'm here, so let's say when I go the arm bar, he did, he did the transition. Right? So instead of keep fighting here, make sure that you keep your toe on the mat, right? See, instead of keep like under both of his, you're gonna get his triceps between his, his wrists, right? Between his forearms. Now you're gonna do the transition. So a lot of it work. So go. And then go straight to the arm bar, right? That's what I like to do when my opponent defends the armbar. Hope you guys like it.